CrazyMikesApp.com with an Android app a video review for SwiftKey Keyboard. Get your stock Android keyboard and transform your Android typing experience with cool features like word predicting, flow gesture typing, Swift Cloud backup, and much more. As we get into the action for this awesome Android keyboard app, it's just the bomb. The way this works though is there's a couple of different ways to input your data. Let's check it out. There's tapping, there's flow, and you can put data in by voice using the Google Voice with SwiftKey. I'm typing it in now. You can see the predicting there is going on. And it not only learns your predicting based on your words, but how you use them. I'm going to switch to flow and just start dragging my finger much faster. It's very, very accurate. It's very, very cool feature. I love it. And this is my go-to keyboard app. I just got a Galaxy Note 3. I switched from the S4, the Samsung S4, and I wasn't using SwiftKey. I know, boo, SwiftKey keyboard, but I had some problems with the native, you know, keyboard app for Android. It was doing some things. It was putting words auto-populating that I didn't want. It was fighting with me. So once I put back on my SwiftKey keyboard app, everything has been cool. It inspired me enough to do this awesome video for you to see how it works. I can see, you can see I'm using the flow drag there and it's just a very cool feature. Look how fast I'm moving. You can put some serious text into a text message, your blog, social networks, Gmail, what have you. Now here's a look at the settings when you go into them. There's a ton of settings. Swift Key Cloud is very, very cool doesn't cost anything and what happens is you can download the app once and you can back it up on all of your different Android devices so it also predicts what you do on your Galaxy Note as well as my Nexus 7 and it works back and forth so whatever I do on my Note works on 7 and you can enable all of those different social networks Gmail here's my current devices the uh, Samsung S4 is gone though it's out of there 61 different languages and you can use three at a time not sure how you do that but you can in this app several different themes and layouts you can have accented characters number pad on left tap on the theme you can pick your favorite and it just seamlessly will just take effect and you see I'm gonna change mine to I believe it's neon down there at the bottom but you got a bunch of other different choices I'm going for neon sounds good Going back out, you can see that there are, again, sound and vibration settings. Get rid of the key. Key press vibration because of a, it may eat up a little bit of battery, but put the sound there if you want it. I did, and again, a variety of input methods. You can also use a physical keyboard. Again, here's a quick look at how fast the flow input really is. Watch, my fingers just zooming over that. This is real time. It's not sped up. May not seem that fast to you, but it's pretty click, pretty slick in my opinion. Also, when you see the two, you know, the two spaces over, and you're thinking, "Wow, the uh, punctuation is not going to work." Just tap on it; it moves back to the end of the sentence. Automatically checks that out. That is Swift Key Keyboard. This is the coolest part of it. You can go and see how efficient you are using this app. I'm plus 28 more proficient at typing on my. Samsung Galaxy Note, they even got a little heat map going where the brighter white is is where my fingers press more. You got to read the description there to get a full understanding of it, but it tells you how far you flowed, keystrokes saved, typos corrected. This is a great app, can't say it enough. There's going to be a full write-up on the website along with this video and definitely take advantage of the knowledge base if you have any questions. One purchase does get the app for you for $3.99. There is a free version you can check out and this app is also available on the Kindle Fire platform in the Amazon Android App Store. Download it in those locations. Until next time, Crazy Mike from CrazyMikesApps.com saying see ya.